Hello folks. Today I'd like to talk to you about advanced workflows in Git. Specifically, I want to go over a workflow that uses Git cherry picking to facilitate the workflow. Git cherry picking is a command you can use to, as the name implies, cherry pick specific commits from one branch to another. This video is intended for software developers on a team who would like ideas on how best to organize their project and work in Git. I'd like to start by first illustrating the cherry pick command by itself. To do this, I'm going to use a sample Git repository I created locally, and a visual tool called Visualizing Git. The Visualizing Git tool is very helpful for illustrating how Git commands work, and it helped me a lot when I first started learning Git. I've provided a link to the tool in the description of the video. Each of the circles in this graph represent a single commit. Master and cherry pick branch are the respective branches in this repository. I've modeled this graph to replicate the history of the repository I created locally, but please note that this tool is purely conceptual and isn't actually linked to my local repository. In my local repository, I have four files on the master branch, and on the cherry pick branch, I have the first three master branch files plus two files that were created on the cherry pick branch. There is a commit for each file. Let's take a look at the log to verify this using the git log command with some additional parameters. As you can see, the graph in the visualizing git tool models the same history. So what does git cherry pick do? Git cherry pick copies the changes made in a specified commit and creates a new commit on the branch you are checked out on that includes those copied changes. Let's see how that looks in the tool. I first identify the SHA-1 hash of the commit I'd like to cherry pick. I also want to confirm I'm on the target branch that I want the commit to be cherry picked to. I then perform the command by typing git cherry pick followed by the SHA-1 hash of the commit. Notice how the first commit made on the cherry pick branch is copied into a new commit on the master branch. Now that we've seen what happens graphically, let's move to the git command line and perform the same steps in my local repository. Notice that files 1, 2, and 3 are on the master branch, while files 4 and 5 were created on the cherry pick branch. For the sake of argument, let's say that I would like to cherry pick the commit in which I created file 4 onto the master branch. Now that I have the SHA-1 hash of the commit, I'll proceed with the command. If we list the files in the repository's root directory on the master branch, you can see now that file 4 is on the master branch. If we look at the log, you also see a new cherry pick commit on the master branch. You may be thinking, well that was cool, but I may or may not have an instance where I'll actually use git cherry pick. And I would agree with you. Cherry picking in and of itself could be useful sometimes for one-off cases. But there is in fact a very practical workflow that you can utilize in conjunction with git cherry pick. To illustrate this, let's go back to the visualizing git tool. Imagine that you have a software product, X, in which there are multiple baselines. By that, I mean you sell a single software product, but you support multiple versions or configurations of that product in parallel. This is very common in a corporate environment or large-scale software projects. In this case, we have v0.1, 0.2, and 0.3 versions of our product X. Typically, at some point in the life cycle of product X, older baselines are deprecated and no longer supported by the development team. Let's assume that a developer begins development of a new feature for product X on the feature A branch. They first branch off of the master branch and then begin their work. 
the team decides that this feature will only be applied to v0.3 and v0.2. They will not support the integration of this feature into v0.1. Once the feature has been developed, approved, and merged into the master branch, the team can then merge the master branch into the respective baseline branches. At this point, everything is fine and the team continues development in this fashion. Now let's assume that there is a security vulnerability found in product X, and a hotfix needs to be applied to all baselines of the product. The team branches off of the master branch similarly as before onto a hotfix branch. Once the hotfix is developed, approved, and merge it into the master branch, the team can then merge the master branch into the baseline branches. However, what happens to the v0.1 baseline when the team merges the master branch into v0.1? It not only receives the hotfix, but because of the way merging works in Git, it also receives feature A, which the team did not want to support in this baseline. Here is where Git Cherry Pick really shines. This baseline workflow works very well if you integrate git cherry pick into it. Rather than performing a git merge of feature A from the master branch into the applicable baselines v0.2 and 0.3, we cherry pick the merge commit of the feature A branch into the applicable baseline branches, thereby creating copies of the merge commit and applying those copies as new commits onto their respective baseline branches. When we repeat the same scenario of the security vulnerability hotfix, we also cherry pick the merge commit of the hotfix branch into the master branch onto all of the baselines. In doing so, we prevent baseline v0.1 from receiving feature A, and only the hotfix change is applied to v0.1. Since I'm using git cherry pick on a merge commit, I have to pass in the dash m option with a value of 1 to designate the mainline branch. I hope this example helped illustrate the usefulness of the git cherry pick command, and provided you with value that you can take back to your team and discuss further. If so, please throw a like on the video. Let me know in the comments if I've missed anything or if there is a topic you would like for me to cover regarding Git or GitHub. Thanks for watching.